Hello, it's Kevin here. Time for a video again. This is one about uh, Yemen, Italy, uh, the population 2000 projections for 2050. Okay, so first things first disclaimer, fair use, non profit, etc. etc. Okay, so as you may or may not know, if you've been watching these videos for a while. We're doing a rundown of every academic writing task in the Cambridge previous papers, okay? So we started at 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, currently 9. I think this is test number 3, I think. Uh, so, what's the key features here? Well, we can see Yemen is a considerably younger population than Italy. There'll be some changes, but still, that's going to remain so. Uh, so, I'll show you mine first. Mm -mm -mm. Hang on, hang on. Where are we? Right, right. So, like I said, right, this is 270 words. It's a little bit long, but that's because there's a lot of data. Figures, data, figures, percentages, etc. But, anyway, you just need a sentence for the paraphrase at the start. Just, you know, you don't have to change it all, but you have to show a bit of paraphrasing. Uh, but still... I won't spend more than a minute or two on that. Pie charts compare population and differences, Italy and Yemen, three categories, blah, blah, blah. Now, like I keep saying, this is the key overview. What's the biggest, what's the smallest, what's gone up, what's gone down, etc. Yemen, youngest population by comparison, despite some minor changes, predict it to still be so, 2050. The portion of older people is predicted to rise in both countries over the subsequent 50 year uh, period. Okay, pretty straightforward. So I won't read it all out, you can. So like it says, make comparisons. So in 2000, 50%, the largest group under 14, compared to 14% of Italians. So what's the biggest opposite end of a scale? Go from the largest to the smallest. Okay, you can see there, and then uh, paragraph number four, that's the one where we're going to talk about the predictions for 2050. So this is 2000, and this is going to be 2050. As you can see, average age set to increase, albeit marginally, with the proportion of over six is blah, 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 blah. Well, anyway, I'm not going to read it all out. You can read it for yourself. So pretty straight, straightforward stuff, yeah? Just have a sentence for the introduction. Key features, what's the biggest, what's the smallest, etc. And then the figures and the details. So this one obviously makes more sense to have the year 2000, paragraph 3, 2050 for paragraph number 4. Uh, so in terms of tensors, uh, Past tense, usually simple past. This one here, uh, future perfect, was it future Future simple? Uh, predicted and other verbs like predicted, forecast, anticipated. So you've got like future simple will increase, uh, will drop, etc. Okay, so pretty straightforward stuff. Okay, now let's take a look at five responses from the group, if I'm pointing the finger the right way, and I always get this wrong, oh, yeah, IELTS 9 Pro. That's our group on Telegram. Link below if you're watching it on YouTube, or you can find us on IELTS, IELTS9.pro, or find us on Telegram, Apparat, etc. So let's take a look at what the students did. Okay, so I've already uh, added some changes and comments, so. I won't read them all out. So this one's 178 words. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, introduction, that's not bad. Comparison of changes, significance of changes. So we've got an overview there. The only thing I would say though is that this overview doesn't really tell you. It just said there were some changes. But what? What's the biggest, what's the smallest, etc. So when you're doing your overview, you really have to get that. You know, what exactly are the key trends or features? They must be significantly highlighted, like it says in the, um, the criteria. I won't show you it now because I've shown it, well, not 
a thousand times. So that's a bit of an exaggeration, but plenty of times. So that's something that you've got to keep in mind. So, okay, that's not too bad, as you can see. Uh, change that preposition. Now, will be, be dominated. Now, dominated, you, you could use that verb, but it's not necessarily dominated. It could be, but there's another meaning to dominate. So I wouldn't really use uh, that. It's a bit ambiguous, you know, so you could say uh, might be a majority. And then the only other thing I wanted to mention here, on the other hand, well, there is no other hand. Now you can say things like conversely, if you're making a contrast, but when you're doing an essay like in IELTS, discussion essay, you know, on the one hand, on the other hand, yeah, but I wouldn't use it here. Okay, so that's not bad. And there was a few things that I changed here. Populous, not uh, populated. Okay. So, pie charts provide a comparison. Okay, okay. The only thing is there was no clear overview. Now, like I said, that's going to cost you. You must have one. If you don't, you can't get more than five for task achievement. Got to have an overview. Let's come and see for the pie charts. So, it's populous. This account, amount, first populated group. You mean the largest proportion in society? Yeah. So first populated group, as I say, largest proportion, okay. The 14, the, the not 14 year olds proportion, you could use that, but portion, that's like a portion of fish and chips group, you know, you could use that. Uh, 15, 10, 59 year olds with a difference. Now, instead of this the office here has done like 15 to 56 years. So it's either 15 to 56 year old, years old, or year olds, of a number of people aged 15 to 56. So future perfect will have increased um, approximately half. I'll put the adverb there. And uh, what's that? As opposed to the first group that will decrease regarding a number of population I'm not quite sure what that actually means there and it is noticeable to note well I suppose it is because otherwise it wouldn't be noticeable okay uh, we'll have doubled again put like olds you don't need an article in front of both years okay so there's quite a few things there you can you can pause that and uh, look at it at your leisure uh, the information okay again not an overview really expectation or expectations for 20 oh i didn't see that it should be 2050 i don't know why i put 2015. um so proportional charts so the most significant proportion in all charts except for this chart in which it's not so does that make sense okay uh, so it's an exception then um it is, and you got right. So now, word order that structure. So, Yemen in two thousand accounted for the highest proportion in not fourteen. So that doesn't work, does it? It's the so not to fourteen year olds at fifty point one percent accounted for the highest proportion in Yemen in two thousand. If you have it the original way, it doesn't make sense. Fifteen to fifty nine year olds or people aged between fifteen to fifty nine. Now, 5.7% is a staggering margin, really? Does it make you stagger? I'm not staggering. Again, word order, right? 15 to 59 year olds at 61% in 2000 formed the highest share of the population, not the other way around, because that doesn't make sense. So that needs a few changes there. Um, this one's not so bad. Article, article that we need. Article, article, uh, article. Fourteen years old. Uh, now, for some reason, the author here kept getting the um, the years wrong. So it's two thousand and twenty fifty. So I had to change those. Uh, so as you can see, there's a few things there. Articles, your preposition uh, will have increased. You know, uh, future perfect. 
So, oops, I didn't see that either. Percentage, that's uh, misspelt. Okay. And B. The final one at 154 words, that's a little bit short. So, illustrates data and plans. Well, it's not a plan, it's a prediction or a forecast. Uh, overall, so this is not really um, an overview. The overview just mentions what the trends are. It doesn't give any figures or data, so that doesn't really work as an, an overview. Aged under 14, between 15 and 39, and the lowest is now, I don't know if we're using age like as, as elderly here. I'm not quite uh, sure. So when you've got this here, that should be, shouldn't that be in the introduction, the charts reveal information about a survey. So that, this doesn't really work at all. That's, you know. So some not too bad. Some need a little bit of attention. Some word order, prepositions, articles, some vocab, etc. So I'll just put mine quickly so you can see it. And yeah, I'll leave that there. You can see that. Okay, so we're doing the final one of Cambridge 9. Uh, maybe before the end of the week, we'll see. Anyway, I hope that helps. So don't forget what I keep saying, because I, I say this every, every time, but it's still the, basically saying the overview, you've got to get that right. Otherwise, it's going to be pulling everything, everything down. Okay, so that's, once again, my key tip for academic task one. Right, hope that helps. See you next time. Bye for now.